To separate tragedy, the families of victims of Tuesday's mine collapse in Yatike have faulted the county and national governments for the slow response to the tragedy. They believe that their kin could have been saved had the governments moved faster to clear the collapsed walls of the mines that trapped and eventually killed the six miners. Brenda Wanga reports on the painful realities the families are having to come to terms with. A blank, heavy-hearted stare of dismay into an uncertain future. The widow of the lead, Joseph Otieno, alongside her children, keep vigil in their compound. In their dark collage of emotions and questions, they mourn the man they called husband and father. The sudden death still raw and painful. school <laughs> fee. Ya wale watoto kuna watoto watatu wanaenda kwa academy na school fees na wanataka school fees. But that excursion to the belly of the ore rich had suddenly turned tragic when the rains weakened the tunnel walls of the Makalda mines, collapsing them and trapping Joseph and his five colleagues in what would turn out to be their unintended graves for hours on end. Joseph alienda tu ivo, nilisikia tu hati. Now the sole breadwinner in this family is gone and his dependents are still grappling with their reality. The death of their loved one is a hard and bitter pill to take in. And what makes it a more difficult swallow is that they believe the deaths were avoidable. Because the time elapsed enough to save the lives. More so for these guys, that the, the, two, the two guys, my brother and the other guy, who, was, who was, they were speaking until the last minute. The burying alive of the six miners is the latest in what residents here say is a recurring situation. The government raised a disaster management team which are well equipped and prepared to be in uh, the environs to take care of our people as they do this kind of activity. Many residents here in cases such as that of the late Joseph are educated but remain formally unemployed. The mines have for a long time been their main source of income. However, despite the life-threatening risks involved, they still turn to the killer mines to eke out a living, even just for their family's sake. It was very special to us. Are you getting over well? Jamana soma. Jamana kasi. Ukienda kila maali kutafutajia wezi pata. The county government of Migori now says it will hold a mass funeral service for the deceased before the remains are released to the families for burial. Brenda Wanga, NTV.